So what is up everybody? So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I mess around a little bit with Photoshop. I'm still not really that good at it, but I have a lot of fun doing it. And I decided to try and make some of the enemies from Rec Room look a little bit more realistic if I could. And so I am doing that today with the barrel from Golden Trophy because everybody loves Jeff. So without much further ado, let's go ahead and hop into this time lapse video of how I did it. So starting out, I went with the easiest thing, which is, of course, the barrel. I found this nice uh, whiskey barrel image online, dropped it in, and warped it into shape, and then moved on to the axe. The axe, I had a lot of issues warping. It wasn't working for me. So I ended up just cutting the axe head off completely and then changing the perspective on it just a little bit. Overall, it's not uh, in the same general shape as the original, but I think it came out looking pretty decent. It's also not the same kind of axe. Um, after that, I went to the platform underneath. I found this nice block of wood, but again, it just wasn't working for me. No matter how I changed it, it just didn't look right. So I ended up using this wood grain texture, which I was able to warp a little bit, change the perspective, make it look like it was kind of flat, then cut out the shape of the platform. From there I just did that two more times for each side that was visible. And it was pretty difficult to get these in quite the right orientation. Um, I'm not, I'm, I'm really bad with the perspective tool. But overall I think it came out pretty good. So I just cut out the shape that I needed and then I would just transfer that over to the texture so that it was in place, move everything so it looks about right, and then from there I moved on to the wheels. I found these nice uh, cart wheels and they were actually a little thin after I warped them so I ended up doubling them up on themselves and then duplicated that and put all of those in the correct spot. Then we moved up to the face. I found this nice image of an orc, which took a good bit of time to cut out. I then placed that on top of the barrel and began to warp it into the general shape of the barrel knight's head. That's, that's pretty much this whole video, is just warping everything. Then I started uh, with a layer mask and removed the bottom portion of his head so that it kind of looked like he was sitting in the barrel, and then gave him a greenish hue which we'll come back to and fix. Then I found this guy with a leather football helmet. This is not me, just for those of you who are gonna ask. Um, I took that, cut that out, set it on top of his head, and then of course began warping it into shape. For his ears, I found these nice, um, I think they're goblin ears. Again, I took these, I split them up, flipped them over, and started warping them into shape. It's pretty much everything that you do. Once I got all that finished up, I found these reptile eyes, which weren't quite in the right perspective. I had to mess around with them a little bit, but I think they came out pretty good. Um, then I added a green hue and a uh, shadow effect on them so that I could attempt to blend them in a little bit. I'll come back later and do a lot more to them. Just kind of laying down a, uh, a foundation for them, I guess. I also added the spike on top of his head, which I'll have to move around and make look pretty. Then I changed the axe head from gold to silver because it's silver in the game. And then when I took the um, the image of the actual barrel knight and changed it to blend mode to overlay, it actually looks, it kind of puts the, uh, the logo onto the real barrel and makes it look pretty realistic. I like it. So that's it, what I ended up doing and just masking away what I didn't need. I wish I could say I made the background, but I didn't. I found this really cool background that had a castle medieval feel to it. 
and I thought he would look pretty good in there. I'd already determined that the light should be coming from the right in this photo. Kind of helped with that too. So From there it's just kind of selecting everything, moving the goblin where I think he should be, and then it's just a ton of lighting. Adding hue saturation layers and adjusting the levels so that it looks like this guy is really in this photo. Darkening everything up so he's not so out of place. Adding shadows so the barrel looks like that it's actually attached. Um, most importantly, dropping a shadow underneath the barrel so that he looks like he is actually on the floor and not just floating there. Then we continue to darken everything up, um, adding shadows so that it looks like the ear is going into the helmet. Um, I'll drop a shadow below the helmet so it looks like it's sitting on his head and not just kind of floating there. Uh, eyes are really, really bright, so I'll have to darken those up. And it's basically just a lot of tweaking, making sure everything looks like it fits in that picture. We also got candles everywhere, so I added a hue saturation level over the whole picture, which was kind of lazy. I should have done it to individual pieces, but um, that layer was to give an orangish glow to the goblin and to his axe, because you can see there's lots of candles in this picture giving off an orange glow. And that's what's going to hopefully help sell this just a little bit more that he was meant to be in this picture. From there it was pretty much done, um, just tweaking up a few minor things and then going in and adding a filter over the whole picture. So the camera raw filter lets me adjust several different things for the whole picture and I can just slide it back and forth, see what works and then, you know, here's the final product. I think overall this came out very, very good, you know, um, could be better, could have been a lot worse though. But like I said earlier, I have a ton of fun doing these. I'm thinking about doing more for other quest enemies. Please let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see something like that. And of course, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it when I post them. Again, I appreciate you guys. I thank you so much and I will see you in the next video.